All right, guys, this is test number one of Castle Walkers Micro Castle Walkers. This is a very, very super duper condensed version of the game that will probably won't even be fun. But I just want to uh, just test this on a small, tiny, itsy bitsy micro scale. Here's the game set up and ready to begin. Uh, the way you set it up is that you place uh, your two soldiers on your starting spaces. One of them is not yet a soldier, is a townsperson that you need to recruit later. And you put your mech broken side up. Um, throughout the game, you're going to do a variety of actions and resource collection type actions and movement type actions in order to upgrade your engine as a third person type engine, but literally also to upgrade your actual engine <laughs> that moves your mech. Um, and then uh, your goal is to move your mech all the way to the like kingdom space where you can claim victory of all the land and be the king. So this is a king of the hill game and it's got a couple twists such that resources are limited. Uh, in this version, resources are off the board because it's too, super small, but in the uh, maybe the medium or even the full size game will have spaces for all the resources on the board. It will be a closed economy. Um, yes, these are limited. Uh, I have here uh, six energy cubes, six wood cubes, six coin cubes, coin, well, pennies, and six stone cubes, the little black houses here. The game starts again, meeple face up, standing up, meeple lying down mechs broken side up and your corresponding encounter tile so green to green grass to grass stone to stone and da da da, da. you then put uh you flip a coin to see who goes first uh call head or tails bam tails which means i go first because i just randomly decided i wanted to do that um, all the action spaces are in some way, shape, or form an upgrade or can be upgradable. And the caveat um, to this game is that it's not just worker placement, it's worker movement. Worker movement means you never actually take your worker off the board. They always go from a space to another space. Kind of like a rondelle, except that this rondelle is disguised as a map. And that you can go to any space you'd like to for your action, but there's a continuity to it. So your worker can move one space at a time per turn. So you upgrade them, you can move them two spaces and yada, 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 yada. There's upgrades all over the place. Um, one action you can do is to mine for stone. You can do a trade action, which is to trade two stone for a wood. This person, so this is an economic type game, has the opposite. So if I really wanted to get stone or wood at the and I want to be safe I can trade here to stone which I have access to for a wood or if I'm feeling lucky I can make my way to dangerous territory to produce wood here so I have the decision space so do I want to play it safe away from my enemy or get the re wood resource that I want further away what else are we thinking about? All right, so your actions are, you know, mine or, or mill. You have two trading actions. You have, what's this one? Oh, I can do an explore action, meaning I can flip one of these tiles. I can spend resources to get my second guy upgraded, stand him up. Oh, um, yeah, here is an attack action. So you can attack anyone within range, which is just adjacent in any six locations around. This one is to move your other dude two times and to activate um, that action. You may attack anyone in an adjacent space with a meeple next to your guy or th with the other meeple like make it treat like a command telling the other guy to fight in a space adjacent to that player uh 
players cannot be in the same space at the same time. So there's no double dipping. Um, I haven't really thought about whether too much into uh, combat rewards. I think the reward is inherent in that you knock them out back to their spawn spot and you have that action space free for you next time. I don't think I want to like give a free bonus, something plundery type thing. This game is going to kind of feel like Checkers meets Scythe. It's a really small board. Yeah, it's a really small board, uh, which makes it really tricky to get what you want. Um, and what makes it even trickier is that your storage is on the board itself. Meaning if I were to go here, for my, let's say my first turn is I want to go mine and I can only really go one space and I can't go on a space that's obstructed by something. So I can only go here. So I'm forced to do a mine action. But where do I want to put this uh, rock? Wherever I put it will actually block a route because I can't move over or past anything with something on the board. Um, but it also blocks that action for me. So maybe, hmm, I will store my stone, gosh, in this trade action. So this person can't, oh, must, yeah. I'll store my, my stone here, but I have one stone and I know it's mine and only mine because the lava lines defined which spaces can be used for storage. Uh, these spaces can also be used for storage, but are up for grabs by any player. You can, you know, my enemy can never grab the stuff I own over here. Okay. So I took my turn and this person can really only do one thing anyway, and that is collect wood. So they're going to collect wood and they might put it in their spawn space, which is really, really risky because you won't be able to respawn. I don't know. That's why we're testing this. Cause I don't really think about that. Hmm. I guess you would, uh, yeah, you block the trade action. That's just the, the consequence of having a micro board. I'll definitely, I think I need to make a bigger board, <laughs> um, for the first, for this micro game, making me make a mini one and it would help having spaces for the resources, uh, on the board, maybe have like one, two, three, maybe like a five, five by five. Yeah, that'd be good. Anyway, so it's my turn again. I'm blue and I want to do an explore action, but I can't do it right now because I blocked my route to the explore action. I don't have enough resources to hire my other dude. Hmm. 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 Well, I'll go here because in the beginning of the game, we have a coin. So I'll be the first one to take the coin and someone has to take it because otherwise you can't put your mech there. I gained the coin. However, uh, now that I've gained it, I block this space and whoever goes there from now on gets two coin. So it's not advantageous to be the first one to go there because it's not, it's not so fun. But now you get two coins if I go. Other player wants to go and, uh, well, this is technically a wall, so you can't pass this. So this person has to go here and they can explore. Ooh, okay. Well, they can only explore something adjacent. So it has to be one of these two. And they're going to explore this stone tile. Now, when they choose to explore, they can either take it for its resource or for what's under it. What's its resource is helpful because it's just an easy way to get, you know, stone in this case. But if they were to go and look at the goodies below it, they'd either be stuck with fighting a monster, which could be bad, um, or great. Uh, they could get a quest. They could get uh, an upgrade that they would later have to work to build up. Um, but yeah, they're going to explore this one. Uh, for the stone because they don't get stone easily on their end. So they're going to go ahead and remove this and get stone that they will place right here. 
And again, the stone and the wood are on is in their territory, so that's their storage. But they've also got two actions blocked. What did they unlock? Okay, well now they can, whenever they want, move here, pay a gold in order to teleport to the other cave space, which is peekaboo hidden right there. But that was their action. They didn't explore. Okay, now it's my turn. And gosh, they took the explore and the combat is awesome right there. I want to, hmm, maybe I shouldn't put those two next to each other. I want to, hmm, I need wood so I can get the other recruit. How am I going to get wood? I can't go there. It's blocked. All the wood spaces are blocked. What the heck do I do? If I go here, then I can move two spaces on my next turn and activate both of them. Alternatively, hmm, I can't just explore these just because I'm next to them. And that's what separates this from a pickup and deliver game is that um, the abilities are not in the meeples, the abilities are on the spaces. So even though I'm next to these explore spaces, I can't just explore them because this is the explore location. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just going to get two coin. One. Gosh darn it. One, two. So what I did was I just stored more stuff, but I blocked more stuff. And now I can't even go here. And they're screwed as well. I kind of blocked them in. They could go here and attack, but I'm not adjacent to them. They could go here and transport to the cave, but they're stuck. So I'm forcing them to kind of just waste a turn because you can't reactivate the same space twice in a row. So we can just explore this. Mm, yeah, it's just kind of gonna waste a turn. At least he's blocking me there. And it's my turn again. And I want to explore. And I'm going to explore this guy and I want to see what the, Ooh, look at that okay well I explored oh for, I should have done it for the wood yeah sorry I take it back these I'm taking this for the wood so now I have Ooh, I have wood I have stone and I got two three coin but two of the things that I need are no man's land so my enemy could take it so I'm really hoping uh, they don't use my wood so it's their turn they're ticked off because they're totally stuck, but, and they can't use the action thing in the uh, combat space. Hmm. That's all they can do. What do I want to do? I'm going to go here for that. This is not fun. You know, it's just some obvious flaws already. I don't really have many choices, many options. Maybe if I allowed a one or two spaces, that would help. Or had more storage areas, because I'm blocking everything. Hmm, so that's good to know that um, the whole storage idea is not a bad idea. But I don't ha I have too many requirements to fulfill with resources, too many resources required for a single uh, upgrade or building or whatever that I can't actually do much. And also I don't want the opponent to feel like they're stuck because this person had nothing to do for a couple turns. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah, that was me. This is them, they have to move, whatever. So I'm gonna go here and I pay a coin, a wood, and a stone to wake up my other worker. And now he's awake. Tell you who. All right, it's Orange's turn. And Orange knows they can. Hmm, what can Orange do? Uh, 
I don't know. Orange would like to spend a coin and da da da. Yeah, that's that's not fair. That's not fun. So orange will go one, two, three to spend two stone in a coin. They don't have two stones in a coin in order to do that. Um, so orange will go two spaces. <sighs> so I can't make a rule. It says if you can't do anything on a turn, you get a resource. Mm. I'd rather make less rules and just make it so that you can always do something. That makes more sense to me. Oh man, so yeah, I can't fight because the fighting space is closed. Maybe a home space would be a grab of resource already that's blocking something. Clear the path. That could be a thing, clear a path. Okay, well, they're stuck again. They're gonna go here, but they can't do it, so whatever. And then I'm gonna do something. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, two guys now. I'm gonna move one space. And they're going to. Oh, yeah, so this is a healing spot. Not that I care. But here I'll get two gold. Let's make these stackable. You can do two of the same resource in a single space. That just makes a lot more sense. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Hmm. Okay. So these are stackable. That's good. Frees up the board a lot more. They got two coins. They're going to store their coins over here, which blocks the route, but they don't care. Now, because uh, blue has two workers now, blue can go to the explorer space and order the other one to do an exploration. And this worker wants to, what does he want to do? Explore this for wood or explore this for stone? I want to explore this for wood. And I will gain a wood, which I will put over here. And now that space is open and available. Cool. Now, orange is like, ooh, gold and two wood. I could use that to make two energy. Two energy. How do I, what do I do with that? I don't know. He wants to recruit now. He's got stone and gold. Ah. Uh, what does he want to do? He could recruit next turn, but he needs to get out of the way. This person is going to... I don't know, movement has to be more open. Two spaces. One, two. Yeah, they should all be able to move two spaces if... Just because it's already small enough of a board, he can't do much. I can actually pay for this right now, so I can't do that. Hmm. So I'm just blocking his space. So he's going to be like, well... I'm on a guest stone and to put it over here. Okay. Now I finally get to go here and I will spend a coin, a wood, and a stone in order to wake up my other person. Huzzah. Meanwhile, I'm going here and I'm do combat against this fool. All right, so when you do combat, uh, they have two hit points. Each meeple has two hit points. Right now, this is at two. Now this is at one hit point. If I attack again, I banish them back to spawn. But, and then if they don't go back, they have to um, spawn as their turn, which is kind of lame. I mean, well, no. They can still move around. They can still activate action spaces, but they're just gonna be weaker. So, you're weak. Movement is probably, yeah, that's what we'll do. Movement will only be one. Okay. That was my action. Now, what do you want to do? 
one, two, you're gonna get a wood, put it here. Oh, now they can, this for friend can heal your other friend. All right, but now it's Blue's turn. Blue will do this to flip over this adjacent pool, which will give you, I'm gonna do it for the inner, for the resource, which will be a stone. A stone. All right. Now we'll store the stone here because that's all I, only place I can store it really. Really, really. No, I can put it here. Play on, play on. All right. Orange's turn. Oh, this is, oh okay. We're just going to go one, two. Yeah, there's got to be a rule about blocking networks and something. Oh, well. To heal. So he's moving back, he's back up to two. And then Blue's action will be <laughs> to be a jerk. What should Blue do? If I want to unlock that cave passage, I have to spend. So what I want to do... Oh, that's a flaw in the design. I want to go here to... Sp oh, I should put it here. Okay, I'll put it here. I'm going to spend two stone and a coin. And that coin I'll take from here. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I'll spend one of my coins and my two stone in order to build something or fix something. What I want to build or fix, I'm going to do this guy. Hey, yo, I'm mobile now. I am kind of midway through the game now where I can start driving my mech, but it will cost energy. So now I got to start making energy. All right. <laughs> Orange wants to start making energy. Orange has to get some more wood. What will orange do? Orange needs coin. No, orange has coin. One. Hmm, maybe the meeples can go anywhere and the mechs can't. That's fine. One, two. Which gives me another wood. There, nice. Then I will go. Exploring doesn't do anything for me anymore. Maybe that should be a dual, dual thing. Hmm. This doesn't do anything for me anymore either. Because I already, everyone's already woken up. Everybody. There should be a space to an action to retrieve loose change in no man's land because this is not playing the way I hoped it would. Okay, so what do I want to do? As we'll make this, the dual thing will be take stuff out. So I'm going to go here in order to cache something from no man's land, clear a path. I don't get to keep the coin, I just bump it off. Now this person's gonna be like, okay, cool. Well, I want to go here even though I can't afford it. Yes, I can afford it. Two wood and a coin from no man's land. Order to produce two energy, which, oh, you know what? We could store stuff on the mech if we're not using it. Duh, okay. And he's like, ha 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 ha. I can power my mech. Uh, well, my mechs are working. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, what should happen next? What should happen next? <laughs> the orange wants stone. So they want the opposite of what they have. Let's see. Blue will go here. Which automatically lets them teleport here. A cost of one coin done orange be like going here and then 
getting the stone. Blue be like. What blue be like? Blue be like. Give me some coins. Orange be like. Hmm. Orange wants more stone and coin. Orange wants. All right, so here's an issue with this game already is, yes, it was a clever idea to be crunchy by blocking spaces with stuff, but oftentimes there's just no, nothing good. I need there to be more interesting action spaces. So there should be a space for um, clearing your route on the space and just like dual spaces, I suppose. Or maybe just more spaces in general so it'll have the illusion of feeling more open, but it's not because half of them you can't use anyway. That could be a thing. That's actually probably a good idea. Uh, so right now, blue is working towards this, which means getting this. So blue needs to attack orange to get them out the way. So blue, psh, attack. All right, and orange is gonna be like, hmm. Orange wants to get in the fight. Oh, no, man. Now it's, this is combat, because... Oh, what's this? What should we do? I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. Blue's going to be like, hey, I'm going to get some stone. And then orange be like, I'm going to clear this path. And I'm gonna get out the way. So I can come back and do a fight action. But no, you gonna do the fight action. Ugh. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get two more coins. Mm. Orange blocked their heal spot. What's even happening? What's even happening? <laughs> Orange is gonna go here. Blue's gonna waste a turn. It's not fun anymore. Ooh, blue can either choose to make wood or make stone. What does blue need? Blue has stone and wood. Blue wants another wood we got another wood and orange is going to get two coin now we're out of coin no one can get coin anymore we're all coined up okay blue <sighs> I'm gonna go here and spin a coin into wood in order to make an energy. And blue's already at a huge advantage. Orange is gonna go here to make a zone. And blue is gonna go Bam, bam. Spend this energy to drive the mech up one space. Now, while on the space, there's a defense of uh, one and an attack of plus one to the level of attack of this little dude. And there's a new action space. Now you can spend two energy to fire a, uh, or one energy to fire a cannon <sighs> which will completely knock out excuse me 
anyone adjacent. All right, or two spaces away, yeah, two spaces away. So I drove my Mac Cup one, and he's like, oh no, I can't let him get through. Well, best offense is a good defense, or so it said. And so Orange is going to go here, spend two of these and their coin in order to repair their mech. Their mech is not prepared to. Oh. All right, now we got a block. How are we going to block? Blue's turn. Blue can't drive anymore because Blue's already got energy spent. Blue needs to make more energy. How can Blue make more energy? Uh, wood, wood, and whatever. Okay, so Blue's going to make a wood. And, well, they both want energy now. What do I have? Hmm. How do I steal? That'd be rewarding to like snatch. Maybe there's like every other. I don't know. I don't want to make it so that every action is available everywhere. I don't want to have any like um, attack anywhere, wherever you are, or grab whatever, wherever you are. I want. I don't want that. I want it to be stinking stupid clean. Here, move here, which lets me move this person two spaces. Um, and activate. So here. <sighs> I can get two coins. Yeah, two coin. This game is a snooze fest. And I can't be attacked while I'm on here. Hmm. My turn, boost turn, I get a stone. suppose orange wants hmm so I'm already noticing that in order for me to get wood I have to ah this person's blocked me at this trading space and they blocked the wood action I'd like to fight so I can get this person off. Can't exactly move this too easily without my mech guy firing. Oh. There needs to be more ways to get wood. I think, or more ways to make routes. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's probably where the, the where, where, <laughs> probably where the technologies come from. Huh. Well, I think that's it for this gameplay. Yeah, this is not gonna be one I get to people. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, please let me know.